hi everyone hope you and around you all are doing today uh, fine today we was today we will talk about sequencer output instruction if you look at the instruction table rs logix 500 instruction set you will find one ins instruction with label as sqo which means sequential sequencer output instruction if you click on it you will find its detail we will it is very very useful very handy instruction available in the section set it is capable to transfer 16-bit data to the address and uh, for example if we look back to our previous assignments of uh, um, AG, you can say let's take the example of traffic light simulator where we have used a uh, number of timers and uh, individual uh, number of timers to get our job done for the traffic signal so viewers don't you think that we can get the whole job done by using two sequencer output and one timer only if we are smart enough as we can see all indicators are connected in sequence on the output port O2 as uh, starting from red indicator 1 is connected 0 point zero or address bit zero and address uh, bit one of uh, port o2 is amber one and uh, at the o2 bit two we have connected green one and so on to the output o7 is connected with the walk uh, pedestrian walk symbol so if we are smart enough to organize uh, the bit pattern into a word then send this pattern to the output address O2 that will become very very optimized and clean data logic program let's start with the implementation viewers so uh, we will try to organize or come up with a table pattern table so let's open up a file a word file create a table how to create a table uh, insert i think no oh, nice table so we should have one two three four five six nine ten eleven and then so on one two three four five six seven okay let's label it um steps and this to label it time and just to label it okay and, um, this one we can say okay starting from here values value and then let's say red one and the one start with it and we say red one is connected at the port zero or two zero and 
zero. I see SO two zero or yeah, how to zero probably. Okay, so then we auto one. So and the first and the first tab first tab for twelve seconds we need to turn on one zero zero then one then zero zero and green should be on and this should be zero. The value will become one two four eight uh, 1632 128 and uh, 255 so 256 so the value will become 73 similarly in the second step for 4 seconds we need to 0 we need to yeah we need to green and then green should be zero then this should turn on this should be zero then this should be one this should be zero zero and it should remain on so it will become 33 and the next turn third step for 12 seconds again this should become one and then this should become zero zero and uh, the red light should turn on yes and this should become zero this should become one this should become zero this should become zero right am i right so it will become 148 in decimal so in the fourth step fourth step Fourth tab again for four seconds. Seconds and uh, um, this will become one zero zero. Then this will remain on. Then this should become zero and then this should become zero. This should will turn on for four seconds. Then this should become zero and the value will become one forty six and then it should repeat this first step again and so on am i right so this is the table now this table we have to implement as you can see if we are able to generate this pattern which is only four values we can send this 16 bit data to the port o2 first time 73 and at the same time we will uh, preset our timer for first time for 12 seconds then we will send through SQO 33 and the other SQO for timer to send for to set as pre value for 4 seconds and so on we will see we will get the whole job done with only two SQO instructions and one timer only let's go back for the implementation viewers get a new file you will find this SQO instruction under file shift sequencer tab bring it we need to let's uh, go to the table and set on integer this is our data pattern and uh, okay so let's say decimal and integer and decimal so Integer and let's say this is the address. Copy this address quickly and and seven zero and the mask which is should be 
f f f whatever value is in this integer will be masked up with logically and and then it will be sent to the destination so we have to put h over here in order to show that it is a hex value so 16 bit so f f f but we don't want to make it zero or we want whatever value is there in this integer array should be appearing uh, to the destination destination is our o2 2 and uh, control was double click and it will configure it and we have how many steps are there um, one two three four so so number of the length will be five so starting from zero to okay so let's label it added its symbol why oh, yeah, i can okay anyway so let's configure another so and seven to oh, zero let's say and seven and seven we have already occupied so uh, one two three four five let's start from ten and again h f f f f then the destination is we have to bring a timer we have to configure a timer t on place it here configure it and so destination in this case will be um, T four zero dot P forty press value control R six one. So okay, this is another okay. So number of step, number of length will be in this case uh, sorry, where is the table? One, two, three, four. So four. Again, the five. It is. It'll be five. Okay. So. Ah, uh, it now we are okay. Let's go back to the data table and fill up the the. Well, with values uh, pattern over here so first one is what is 73 so first one should be 0 the second one 73 third one 33 148 33 148 and 146 then we are actually on 10 so 10 we are at 0 and then for 12 second we had to put 120 then for 4 second 40 then for 12 second 120 then for 4 second 40 uh, 40 then we don't need this Let's see. Okay. Alright, so here we are done with the pattern organization. So let's bring over here and take this one inside, take bit over here and label it T four zero bit DN and place this sequence over here and yeah R6 then this control okay then then uh, if this one is not the same over here right so 
Hi guys, so there was a problem with the table and uh, this one was not 33 and uh, because 1 then uh, 16 then 32 becomes 41 not 33 and uh, and then we have to update the data table so I updated it here if you go back to the decimal sorry decimal values of uh, integer file 0 is the uh, first one and then 73 41 140 and 46 and the, uh, then another amendment is the file uh, start from of n5 okay instead of uh, n10 so this is the address of, st of the file then it will move on next for five addresses and we'll uh, copy the values to the timer preset register so there should be a condition we have to bring it when it has to start okay so it should be t40 bit dn and same should be over here right and that's all. That's all about it. Let's program so the panel, download it and run it. Okay. Let's remove this parking. Because you can see the screen light is on and the respective walk, pedestrian walk indicator is also on so the pedestrian can walk through. And uh, now this switch to the yellow and the green one this way it has stopped and this one is on as well. So that's all about the receive viewers with only two SQ instructions and one timer we can get the whole job done of timer of traffic light simulation did you get the value or importance of sequencer output instruction viewers that's what I was intended for if you got it and you learned it then please don't forget to hit the like button it will encourage me to keep going to prepare such kind of tutorials have a good day ahead stay tuned